Hi, I'm Heather. Um, this is Anwen. Uh, I'm back for another really quick video, just to sort of say. Um, I've decided to do the booktube a -thon this year. It's actually called The Reading Rush this year. They've changed the name. Um, but I used to just sort of watch it from a distance in the past. But this year, I actually have a booktube channel. So now I'm actually going to participate, I think, or I'm going to try to. So it goes from the 22nd of July to the 28th of July. Um, so that's a week that I'm back from my vacation and everything, so I should be um, fully able to participate on the way um, and devote all my time that isn't kid related or job related to reading. Um, so the first video that we have to do, just to sort of launch it off, um, is our TBR. So they've released the challenges um, and they're pretty good, you know. Um, I like to sort of fit books, here wait, hold this. Can you hold that? Okay. <clears throat> I like to try to fit books into um, like a list of prompts. And um, that's one of my sort of favorite things to do for my TBR every year. Sort of get a list like so-and-so title or so-and-so character type or so-and-so includes such and such color or whatever. And I try to fit books into that. Um, so the seven challenges that they've done this year that they released are... Here, what hold that? Okay, so the seven challenges are um, one with a purple on the cover, uh, one that you read in the same place, um, one that's meant you meant to read last year, which is like an absolute load of the books that ugh, are on my list, um, an author's very first book, um, a non-human main character, um, five or more words in the title, and um, a book that has like a movie adaption and then you're supposed to sort of read the book and then watch the movie ad adaption which is actually the hardest one for me that I found because I don't really watch that many movie adaptions of stuff so I didn't even know which of the books on my TBR have this um, movie thing that I could watch but I think I fi finally figured them out. Okay so um, I have recruited the spud for the video today because normally she's just in the background like making loads of noise and I have to like hide from her in the kitchen and stuff when I do a video but actually sitting next to me Look how quiet she is. Look how quiet you are. <laughs> yeah? We might do this every time. You'll just be my like accessory for every video. You'll just sit quietly and read your book and then we'll do the video. What do you think? Is that a good plan? Ah, oh, sorted. Okay. So anyway, for the first prompt of the purple in the cover, I'm gonna read Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne Jones. So this is sort of set in Wales, really, which is really cool because I live in Wales um, and I've been wanting to read it ever since I first moved to Wales about nine years ago. So I think all of the books that I'm going to do are from like the back of my TBR. So I have like a front active list of my TBR, like mm. this list in the background. It's like all of the most pressing books on my list. But I'm not going to pull from that. I think I'm going to use this opportunity to sort of get the ones in the back that have been sitting on the back of my TBR for years and years. So yeah, the purple one is Howl's Moving Castle. Um, the one that I'm gonna do where it's, uh, what is it? Oh, sitting in the same place. Like you read one book sitting in one place that whole time. I'm probably just gonna sit here on this little bench in the sun and just read all the way through, go ask Alice. Um, which my friend Tori, when I was in middle school, I was like 11 or 12. Um, her mother got her this book because she thought that she was like going down a bad path and she like wanted her like to give her homework that she had to read this book. Ever since then, I've sort of actually wanted to read it, so it's been a really long time. Um, the next prompt is um, one that you meant to read last year. Um, and one that I meant to read last year, and the year before that, and the year before that, is Siddhartha by Herman Hess. So this book is actually on another list that I've been sort of slowly working my way through, which is the um, PBS, Great American Read. It's like, 100 of America's favorite books um, and this is on it. So I'll kill two birds with one stone really Sort it out do this um, book to you with on and also get it off my great American read list um, The next one is an author's first book So William Golding has written like absolutely loads of books one of which is the spire Which is also on my TBR, but his first novel that he wrote is Lord of the Flies I think this is actually also on the Great American Read list, so that'll be another sort of two birds with one stone. But I have really been wanting to read it for a really long time, and loads of times when people sort of refer to it in other texts, I think, oh, I should read that one, it's going to be really good. What's the matter, Spud? Are you going to read yours? Oh, there's only one left. She feels her books quite deeply.
Okay, so the next one is sort of a main character that's not human. It's like an animal or an alien or something. And one of the books that's on the Great American Read list that's been on the back of my TBR list for years um, is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe oh. by C.S. Lewis. Um, he has the same surname as me, so I feel like this like hits me in a deep place. Um, also, I saw the movie ages ago, and I've read a couple other ones of this Chronicles of Narnia thing, but I've never actually read this one, which I think is probably the most famous one. So that'll be sorted. Um, the next prompt is a title of a book that's more than five words long. And I got this book. It seems a bit like something that I wouldn't normally read, and it's not really something I would normally read. Um, but it's like um, an Instagram sort of blogger woman named Rochelle Hamilton. Do you see this one? Part-time working mummy. Yeah? I do like that cover. Um, anyway, the title's called Part-time working mummy, a patchwork life. Um, I got it from my friend Jo in work, who is also a part-time working mummy, um, and she said that it was hilarious. So I started following this woman on Instagram, and actually she is pretty funny. So even though I wouldn't normally have read this, it did make its way onto the back of my TBR, and I might as well sort of hit that now. I think it'll be quite quick to read, um, and that's another sort of thing that I was thinking about when I was thinking about what books I should do. Like, if I want to try to hit all seven, I've got to make them sort of short or, like, easy to read, so that'll be good. Uh, the last one on my list that I did have the hardest time with, I think, um, is The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsen Hamid. Um, this one does have a movie adaptation that I sort of wanted to see, but I thought, oh, I won't see it now. I think I was, like, on a plane on my way home to America, like, one of these, like, killer 10-hour ones, and it's like, oh, look! This movie's on there, but I don't want to see the movie because I haven't read the book yet. The book is on my TBR, but it's been living on my TBR for years. So, boom. Read the book. Watch the movie. Sorted. What's the matter, Squishy? <gasps> the ladybugs. Yeah. Are but, they all home now? But where's, where, where's him, Mommy? Oh, I don't know. Maybe at the front. Okay, are you going to read it? Okay, wait. So... Um, one little ladybug sitting all alone, along came a breeze, and then she was... Okay, what happens next? You know, you've read this a million times. Turn the page. Turn the page. Yeah, like that. Then she was, where did she go? Home. Home! Aww. Then they're all together, huh? But, but. Kutches. But, Mom. Yeah. You, you read the list. It has to go here first. Oh, I didn't start it from the beginning. Silly me. Let's do it again. Okay, let's read it again. Perfect. Okay, so that is my TBR for the Reading Rush slash Booktubeathon 2019, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do like all the updates and challenges and stuff because life is deeply hard. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'll give it a go. Hey. Okay, are we gonna say bye? Oops. Hold on. Bye. Hey, goodbye. Okay, wait. Sit up here. Okay, goodbye. Sit up here. Okay, say. Okay. Bye. Bye. Until next time. Until next time.